Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Peplink unboxing video. Today we have our hands on a Max BR2 Pro 5G HT PRM. So let's get right into it. The first thing you will see is the setup guide. It explains the process for basic product setup. After that, you will see the accessories, which include eight SMA cellular antennas, two Wi-Fi antennas, a 16 foot GPS antenna, and the new four pin DC power adapter. With the new cable styling, the BR2 Pro now comes with ignition sense, meaning it's possible to wire into a vehicle with standard 12 volt power. Now let's get into the router itself. The router is very slim and it is eight and a half inches long while only being 1.6 inches in height. The router supports one gigabit per second of stateful throughput and up to 400 megabits per second of unencrypted speed fusion throughput. The router's two 5G cellular mo modules are powered by 5G CAT20 modems, while also having the benefits of speed fusion like hot failover, WAN smoothing, and bandwidth bonding. BR2 Pro 5G is the latest hardware with Wi-Fi 6, which means it transmits 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, pushing your Wi-Fi connectivity even further. Being able to operate in as low as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit and as high as 149 degrees Fahrenheit makes the BR2 Pro 5G a great industrial, mobile, and versatile router for almost any environment. On the front, the BR2 Pro has two 2.5 gigahertz WAN ports, as you can see right here, and four one gigabit LAN ports, which you can see right here. WAN one has PoE in, and as you can see, it can be configured as a fifth LAN port PoE input allows the device to be powered over standard ethernet to simplify deployment like moving the router near a window or a wall to increase cellular reception. The RS-232 serial port can be used in combination with InControl2 for out-of-band management of non-peplink devices with a standard console cable. Right under the serial port, you will see the status lights. You will also see the both cellular lights and the reset button over here to the right. The status lights will be solid green if the router is fully booted, and the cellular lights will be solid green if they are connected to a cellular network. If the cellular lights are off or the, modem, uh, the modems aren't initialized and the device isn't detecting a SIM card. If the cellular lights are flashing, then the modems detect a SIM card and the router is trying to connect to a carrier. To the right of the serial port is the USB WAN port. This allows for more versatility and cellular expansion with the Max Adapter 5G or other USB modems. All the way to the right, you will see the new DC power jack, which is labeled for easy wiring. Now let's flip over to the rear. As you can see, there's a lot, but you'll see here, you're going to see two Wi-Fi antennas, and then you have the eight SMA cellular connections, four for each 5G modem, and a GPS, which is right here. And then to the right, you can see four nano SIM slots. Each one is one module. Each cellular module can have two SIM cards for failover and redundancy. Now let's put it all together. I suggest starting with the GPS because it makes, it gets it out of the way and you can connect these much easier. Now that those are out of the way, I would suggest doing one of these um, Wi-Fi and connections. Now I would probably start connecting most of the cellular antennas. And the good thing about the setup is you only have to hold these hand tight Everything else is, you don't need a wrench, you don't need anything like that. It makes it super simple to connect all of them. Okay, and once all these are connected, all you have to do is plug the device in. Once the device is plugged in and the status lights are green, you'll be able to locally access the router by going to https colon slash slash 192.168.50.1. Or if the router is online with SIM cards, you can add the serial number to InControl2 for remote management and configuration. The Peplink BR2 Pro 5G is Peplink's latest in 5G connectivity, offering great performance, dual 5G bonding, and incredible versatility. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video.